What I'm going to do now is confront Mel about her barrette. Come on in. You want to do this after doing the Victorian dining puzzle. What's the word? Is this by any chance your barrette? Yeah, it is. Hey, thanks for finding it. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. Mm-hmm. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. Busted. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. Nancy has been practicing her interrogation techniques. I can tell. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. Come on, Mel, I'll give you some milk and cookies, okay? What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. What happens if you don't want to be a member? I have no idea. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Okay. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. Fair enough. I'll let you get back to your music. Drop in any time. <sighs> See, talking about the Blackwood Society gets Nancy a text message. And the text message says that the missing Poe book is inside Izzy's room. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. The way to get inside Izzy's room is to use the student ID on the door. That's why I said you had to solve the Victorian puzzle before confronting Mel. That's because when you solve the Victorian puzzle, you get the student ID that lets you break into Izzy's room. Is that a picture of herself? Ooh, and a hidden key. Interesting. That must be Jacob. Ooh, Jacob. He's got sunglasses. Wow, no wonder she's going out with him. Let's use the key on her trunk. This is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing. Aha! Uh -huh. Izzy must be the leader of the Blackwood Society. And the missing Edgar Allan Poe book is right here. This is a book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. All right. I wonder what Lila was doing with it. And wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that. We've got four golden token thingies. And that little emblem. Does that look familiar? It should look familiar. It's right here. That book must be necessary to solve the puzzle that Rita Hallowell set for us. I'm going to ask Izzy about the Blackwood Society, now that I know she's the leader of the bunch. Let's hope she's able to talk to us. How's it going? Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to tell me something. 
All right, who blabbed? I, look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone, ever. What's in it for me? Nothing. Dude, I sure hope you don't intend to go into politics, because you'd stink at it. I'll owe you one. How's that? Yeah. I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. All right. What does the chant mean? I have no idea. It's been passed down verbatim since the school and the society was founded. That's absolutely all I know about it. Everything is secret. Like that cloak? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot. And when I did, there was the blue cloak, along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? No harm in hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now, too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever, what else is going on? Nothing much. I've harassed you enough. No problem. Okay, so knowing what the Blackwood Society's chant is will help you solve the second to last puzzle in the game. Well, I think that's everything I can do for now and... Whoa, hold on a second, what's that? Did you see something? That looked like a map of the United States. We have to take a picture of that for Rachel. Oh, we have to get inside this history classroom. Let's use the student ID on the lock. All right. To your room, Miss Sawyer, and contemplate the ten demerits this destructive little escapade has earned you. Uh-oh. Looks like I got caught by Paige. Ten demerits? Oh, no. I'm going to have to try sneaking into that room in the middle of the night. Let's try 11 p.m. And when it's late at night, Paige won't be able to catch you. Alright, and in we go.